gives your God power get everything you ever wanted and live the life of your dreams. The Master's Course. Copyright 2010 by Richard Lee McKim Jr. All rights reserved. Let the quest for knowing begin. So, let's look at this next illustration. Okay, now, now he's got a really big negative thought in his mind. He's, he's really resonating negative now. He, he, he got his fill of observing the negative situation. And now his thoughts are on the negative side. His body is on the negative side. His body is thinking there's danger out there. It's in the protection state. And now the cells aren't taking in nutrition. They're not dividing like they're supposed to. They're not fixing themselves like they're supposed to. All of that is on hold because he's in the flight or flight syndrome, which means that he's going to have to run or going to have to fight. Now, is it really that? No. He's just thinking negative thoughts. He's just thinking bad stuff. So, but does the body know? No, because the body only knows good or bad. That's all the body knows. So, if it's bad, it goes right to the bad state. It doesn't have anything in between. I mean, it does have degrees, sure enough. But if you're thinking negative thoughts, then your body's shutting down. That's just how it is. So here, the guy ended up with negative thoughts. Sure enough, we knew it was coming. And he didn't turn it around. He could have stopped this whole thing by just saying, that's okay. This is a good situation. That's okay. It's going to turn out fine. That's okay. I can work with it. He could have given it a good meaning. Now, if he had given it a good meaning, the moment he gave it a good meaning with his God power, he would have been noticing what was good about it. That's how it works. He would have been eliciting good things. And then he'd be saying, okay, see, that's working out. Or, okay, I can do this. Or, okay, I can do that. Something would have come up. But because he continued to give it a negative meaning, he didn't take the time he didn't take the effort to get out his God power and say, okay, you know what? I don't care what this looks like. It's going to work out in some kind of way because it always does. And if he were to have done that, it would have been good. But he didn't. He didn't. So now he's in a negative state of mind. Let's see what it says here. Since you cannot hold a positive thought and a negative thought in your mind at the same time, the negative thought has pushed the positive thought back into inactivity. Now, the negative thought is the currently active one. Your thoughts have now been altered, and as a result, it has altered everything in your experience. Isn't that something? You can be looking at a scene and be on the positive thought, have a positive thought, and you see all these great things about it. But the moment you switch into the negative side for whatever reason. Maybe you uh, stepped on a nail or maybe someone punched you out or what? I don't know. Maybe you got a bad phone call and now you're wallowing in your misery about it or contemplating it in a negative way. But for whatever reason, you're now in a negative mode. Now you look up at the same exact scene and what do you see? You see a bunch of bad stuff. Because that's your point of view now. That's what you're listening. Now, the thing is, is we know that not only do you see it, but you're listening it. It was something bad in the situation that you didn't even see before. You didn't even see it before. But now, not only do you see it, but it's coming at you. You're listening it. It's coming to you. Why? Because you're resonating with it. You're attracting it. And it was there before, but it was benign. It was of no consequence. You didn't even know it was there. And that situation, that negative part, didn't even know you were there. But now, you're aware of each other. That's how it works. Okay, here we got the illustration. Sure enough, now the guy's looking out into his world, 
and there are negative, there are red tuning forks all over the place, and they're all resonating. He's resonating with all the bad things. He was on a car lot, and he was looking at, when he was in the positive mood, just a few moments ago, he was looking at this car that was really catching his attention, and you know what? That was going to be a really good deal. It was going to be the best deal on the lot, because that's the kind of thing he was attracting at the moment. But then he got a phone call, he got in an argument, or whatever. Now, he's not as interested in that car now. He's thinking about some of these other cars over here. Why? <laughs> because they're now resonating with him <laughs> from that state of mind. Don't go out looking for cars when, when you're upset. Okay? Because the ones you're going to be interested in are not going to be the good ones. So sure enough, he's looking out in his world and everything he sees doesn't look good. But the things that don't look good, they also see him. That's how it works. So here it says... Now you look out into your world. Things don't look as good. The actual fact is, not only don't they look as good, they aren't as good either. Remember, your state of being and emotional feeling is more important than just feeling good. It is the basis of what you are eliciting and attracting into your experience. You are actually attracting and causing bad things to happen to you while you were in this state. That cold that was so easily kept at bay now begins to creep up on you since your immune system is turned off. Remember that when your body is in a negative state, your cells go into their protective mode. That means their nourishment and immune protection systems are suspended until the threat passes. Of course, they don't know that it's not a real threat. It's just because you're mad about something. How could they? They live on the basis of things are either good or they are not. That job that you were hoping for was just given to someone else. Your car breaks down on the way to the store. The people at the store seem unfriendly and aren't smiling like they normally do. Some of your favorite old memories don't seem to be as great as they did before. When you think about the future... It seems less optimistic than before. What happened? It was all going so great. You were supposed to have that job, and it was even promised to you. That doesn't seem fair. Sure, you got mad, and, and you're still mad, but you say, I had a good reason. I'm sure you did. <laughs> so how is that serving you now? I would recommend that you forgive the guy already and forget it. Look at the damage that is happening because of your lousy state of mind. Now is the time to use your God power and change the meaning of this situation and get back on track. To continue, go to How to Use Your God Power, Chapter Number 11, Segment Number 32. Let your quest for knowing, continue.